And you're listening to Talk Radio 1190. I'm John Wolf for the Ask the Experts radio show. And our expert today is Roger Wakefield, the founder, owner, operator of Texas Green Plumbing. And we're talking a lot about sewage today, but uh, any type of plumbing problem is, is fair game. If you'd like to give Roger a call, 214-787-1190 is the number right here. His website, by the way, texasgreenplumbing.com. Now, we talked about the expert plumber. That's, that is your YouTube channel, correct? Yes, sir. And how did you become the expert plumber? It's a, it's a really good story. I, being a member of Green Plumbers USA, I got an email from the president of their company one day. And he said, Roger, look, American Standard is running a contest, and they are looking for the next expert plumber. And they ran a plumber know-how contest. And you had to create a video and do a submission, and then they looked at your certifications, anything that you had, your licensing. And I'm a very educated plumber. I have every endorsement in Texas, medical gas, water supply protection specialist, multipurpose residential fire protection system, RMP. But then outside of plumbing, I'm also a lead AP. And that is leadership and energy and environmental design, and that's building green buildings. Me and my video crew got together, and we had just started doing videos, and we decided this is something that we can do. So we put together a video for American Standard. They wanted to know a tip. They wanted you to talk about why you liked American Standard, and then just show them your personality. And, again, this goes back to YouTube, guys. If if you want to see it, go look at the YouTube channel at The Expert Plumber. And it's one that says Roger Wakefield, American Standard, Next Expert Plumber. Go watch that video. We had a good time making it. We had a lot of fun. But my big tip was everybody in your house should know how to go outside and turn the water off, whether it is at the meter, at the valve box at your house, because you may have a water problem or a water emergency Anybody in your house that knows how to shut that water off can do it immediately, and that can save you thousands of dollars. And that's why American Standard picked me as their expert plumber. Is this a nationwide deal? It it is. I've actually – they've sent me out to Orlando to KBiz, the kitchen and bath industry show. I spoke out there. I I, I love public speaking. I love teaching people about plumbing, about the plumbing industry. I'm a great recruiter into the trades Because I tell young men, young women all the time, the plumbing industry you can get into right now, and five years from now you can be making $75,000 a year as a plumber, and you're not going to owe anybody for that. And it's not just plumbing. I'm associated with plumbing, pipe fitting, and welding. So it's a great industry. I wish I'd met you when I was a younger man. I, I tell you, the I was, I was speaking before we came on the air with uh, your assistant, and I said that until I moved into the house that I bought, I had lived in apartments all my life. And the one thing that I've enjoyed is not mowing the lawn. It's not edging the lawn where I'm absolutely abysmal at, which I'm absolutely abysmal at, but uh, completing plumbing jobs. Because if you fix something right, it's fixed. You can, you know, say, oh, yeah, I did that. And odds are, if you fix it right, it's not going to cause a problem for a long time. The lawn, not so much. Dishes, not so much. But if you can, it's a real feeling of accomplishment, more so even than fixing something on your car, because that will break down eventually again, but uh, most likely. But uh, a plumbing job is just, it's a feeling of fulfillment. So to be able to do that for a career and make a decent living at it sounds like a, sounds like a good deal all around. I love it. it. It's really funny. I took a test when I was probably in the fifth or sixth grade, and it's a... Uh, evaluation test to find out, you know, what should you be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. And I'm reading through it and mine said engineer. And not that I'm not a very bright kid, but I thought, okay, I do not want to drive trains around (laughs) for a living. And that's exactly what I thought. Sure. And it's funny because being in this industry, I have worked with some of the most amazing mechanical, chemical, hydromechanical engineers around. I, I've learned so much from them. I just, I think it's, I would have been a wonderful engineer because I think I would have just soaked it up like a sponge. I love it. On the fulfillment side, have you trained people who've gone on to their own companies and, and come back and thank you for the training you gave them? I, I have. I used, actually used to be an instructor in the union. 
here in Dallas, Local 100. Anybody interested in getting in plumbing, pipe fitting, or welding, give me a shout, and I can introduce you to them. There's one of my students, actually, when he was going through school, used to tell me, Roger, one day when I get out, I want you to go to work for me because I'm going to open up a service plumbing company. And he has opened up one. He opened up one in plum- in Plano, and he's actually done very well with it. And we talk often. He's a good guy. So, yeah. So this is a show about recru- recruitment and vocations as well as uh, fixing plumbing. But to get back to the fixing plumbing, uh, what are the dangers? What should you know about? What should you look for if your sewer line is leaking? What's the first indication if there's not water running through your backing up in your house? Really, if, if you've got a sewer leak, chances are you're not going to know it unless you do have water coming up inside your house. And that's normally only going to happen if you have a blockage. I work with a lot of realtors. That is actually how I grew my business when I started. I would get out, meet realtors, ask them for the opportunity to come speak at their office and train their realtors about what sewer leaks are, what slab leaks are, what causes them. So many people have no idea. One thing I recommend to every realtor, and if you people listening, if you know anybody buying a house, I always recommend doing a sewer and water test. And what we do, John, is is we go to the two-way clean house that we were talking about a while ago, stick a test ball in there where water cannot go out to the sewer. We fill it up with water. It's not called a hydrostatic test because we do not apply any pressure. We literally just fill the line with water. It's a plumbing drain line. It's made to carry water anyway. So we fill that line with water and see if that water level goes down. If that water level goes down, there is a leak somewhere. If there's a leak somewhere, it can be causing foundation problems. And like you just talked about, if it ever stops up there or out towards the main, and backs up in your house, that water could come up through your floor or anywhere else. Have you ever done this and gotten or tried to do this and gotten resistance from a seller? We have. There's a certain real estate brokerage in Dallas that has a note in their contract that, or did have, and I'm not sure if they still do, so I'm not saying anything bad about anybody, that if you did a hydrostatic test on the house, you had to sign a letter saying if you damaged anything, you would pay to fix it. And I used to tell buyers, walk away from that because, number one, it's not a hydrostatic test. Number two, it's, it's a leak test, and that's all I'm doing is filling a system that's made to hold water with water. And there's no way I could damage it. There's nothing that I can do by putting water in that no system pressure. that's going to damage No, I'm not applying any pressure. If you look at the – the drain line, say it comes out three feet under the house, and I just fill it up with three feet of water. You're looking at, what, 0.431 pounds per pressure per foot. So you're talking 1.2 pounds of pressure on the whole system. Okay. Again, we're speaking with Roger Wakefield of Texas Green Plumbing, texasgreenplumbing.com. If you have a question about anything, maybe you're not buying a house today, 972-442-4101 is their office number, and the number here is 214-787-1190. Uh, now, if the... If the, if the blockage is not in the house when you open up the two systems out, out next to your house, mm-hmm. is it necessary that you're going to have to tear up the lawn or is there some way to find more specifically where the leak is with a, a gigantic uh, a stethoscope or something? For a sewer line, a stethoscope type system is what we would use for a water line because that leaking water is going to make a lot of noise. If, if you open the two-way clean outs, and there's water in it. So that tells you that you've got a stoppage between your two-way cleanouts and the city tap. What's going to happen there is we're going to run a sewer machine through it. We're going to clean out that blockage. Then we're going to stick a camera in it, run it out towards the main. We're going to look at what it, what we see. Is it a break? Is it just a belly? If it's, if it's a break and it's in one isolated position, we may be able to just dig that up, uncover it, and, and make a spot repair right there. If if it's a big belly, we may end up having to replace a section of pipe. If it's an older pipe and we see roots in several locations, we may tell you you need an entire new yard service. But that's the thing. We're going to give you options, and it's going to be up to you as to what you do. Now, when you say yard service, what are you referring to? You're From the two-way cleanouts out to the city. Mm-hmm. You now, the city tap is out by the curb somewhere. Right. 
that's your yard service. That's your sewer relay that goes from the two-way cleanhouse there. You're responsible for that as the homeowner. Okay. Now, my neighbor had a couple of times, he had roots that had grown into the sewage pipes, if sewage pipes is the correct term there. And what can you do to prevent that? Are there heavier duty things you can wrap around it? Uh, or is it just something that uh, foliage is going to look for water and you can't really stop that? Yeah, you know, it's always going to look for it. What, what there are, there's things that you can put down the ditch on each side that kind of blocks the roots from getting over to it. To be honest, if a plumber puts in a good PVC system and, and it's solid and it doesn't break, it, which most repairs now are made with PVC, you're not going to have a problem. The roots are never going to get in it. All right. And there's only so much you can do if you're buying a house. You can't tear up the yard. Or Do you ever go to, let's say, if we're, especially if we're a high-end house, run the camera through for any reason or just like t- let something? You can't examine everything. We recommend to all realtors to recommend to every buyer they have to do a sewer water test. We check under the house. We also do the same thing basically on the water system. We put a gauge on the system in the house. We shut off the water at the meter. We see if the pressure drops. We have had some customers that want us to do a gas test also, especially with all the explosions lately. I would want to know if I was buying a house, is there a gas leak inside the house? Yes. <laughs> the, the other thing is running a sewer camera, like you said, I've had some customers want us to go up on the roof, go down through the vents, look at every bit of sewer pipe that we can see, and also run a camera from the two-way clean out out to the tap, the area we're talking about, the yard service, and see, are there any roots? Are there any breaks? Is there anything like that that we need to worry about before buying the house? If I was buying a house right now, I would want a sewer test, a water test, a gas test, and run a camera just so I know. And these are things the home inspector does not check. I'm learning a lot now for the next time I buy a house myself. I'm, I'm amazed how lucky I've been so far, and it hasn't always been perfect. Again, we're speaking with Roger Wakefield of Texas Green Plumbing. We'll be back. The number here, 214-787-1190. John Wolfe with Ask the Experts Radio Show. 